Assalamu alaikum my sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. Today I'm sharing a quick and easy go-to recipe for my chicken chapli kebabs. I usually make these a whole bunch of them and what I do is I freeze them in an airtight container or a storage bag and anytime the kids come home from school and I don't have time to cook like a big lunch or for school lunches or just on the side with palaos or biryani or something whenever we feel like having this all we have to do is just pop them in a frying pan let them just shallow fry and they are ready to go and so so delicious this requires simple ingredients if you guys enjoy this video please give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my um, channel where I share yummy recipes just like this a few times a week so let's get right into the recipe everyone now I have some chicken breast and chicken thigh I've combined half and half I've minced that and I just let it sit in the refrigerator for a few minutes and these are the ingredients that we are going to need the other ingredients I have some red chili powder some salt some garlic powder some besan flour this is a mixed minds of mint leaves cilantro green pepper and onion I just mixed all that in my in my food processor I have some tomatoes to put on top I have one egg and we're also going to be using some desi ghee in this recipe so what we're going to do is we're going to just start putting everything together so I'm going to slowly um, start adding the um, ingredients one by one. Um, I also add this one masala, friends, a masala. It's like a pakora masala, masala we make once a year for Ramadan. My mom taught me this. Um, I use a whole bunch of coriander seeds, um, some anar dana seeds, a um, pinch of turmeric, a pinch of red chili pepper. So I'll add all those together. As you guys can see right there, I've added a full tablespoon into this mixture as well of that misala that goes on, um, on the side of the um, chili pepper salt and garlic pepper. So I've added all my ingredients. I've added the butter. I'm going to also crack in the egg. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to start mixing it up all together. It, you sometimes you can omit the egg you don't always have to add it but it's a good binder and it tastes really nice in the kebabs to keep everything together and really soft and moist so you can add the egg or you can omit it it's definitely up to you it's not like 100% needed in the recipe in this recipe so just put on like a glove because your hands are going to get really really sticky and just mix everything up together until you get a beautiful mixture like this put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and then what we're going to do is we're going to get either some water or some cooking oil and we're going to go ahead and grease or wet our hands and i usually put a large um like a tray next to me or um, this is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to go ahead and just get a nice ball like this and i'm going to keep wetting my hands because this chicken mixture tends to get sticky that's why I put it in the refrigerator and now I'm just gonna form a nice round shape make it nice and round as much as I can add my tomato in the middle and you guys can just kind of wet or grease the pan or the tray you're putting the kebabs on so it's easier for you to remove once they're frozen and just go ahead and put it on just like this now do the same with all of them make them really nice try to make them as round as you can and just place them all on the on the tray just like this and there we go so I'm gonna go ahead and make all of them just like this so two four six eight so I've made eight out of this and I still have a whole bunch of mixture left. So there we go. They're all done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a frying pan with a good bottom, like a heavy bottom. I'm going to add just a few tablespoons of oil, three or four tablespoons, and then on slow flame, not really high, just like on a slow flame, I'm going to place in my chapli kebabs. And once you see that it has like turned colors on the bottom, then what you can do is you can go ahead and just switch it over. And the masala that you guys see on top, friends, that's just a masala that I sprinkled on top, like a pinch on each chapli kebab just to make them extra spicier. It's definitely up to you guys. You guys don't have to do that. So just go ahead and flip over like this, and it will cook beautifully on each side. 
They're so nice and soft and moist and juicy, perfect. Just stick them in a hamburger bun for your kids, serve in a parata or a roll or just on top of hot, hot polaos. These are amazingly delicious, friends. It's a real quick and easy recipe, and I really hope that you guys enjoy it this Ramadan. If you guys do, friends, please give my video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and share this video with your friends and family so they can benefit from it and watch this video as well. Also, friends, if you guys enjoy the recipe and eat it during Ramadan, please do keep me and my family in your du'as as well. And I'm also always doing the same for all of you guys. And also, friends, please don't forget to check out my latest videos that I've shared um, for Ramadan. All my recipes like this yummy carrot cake. You can frost the carrot cake or you can just eat it plain it tastes delicious with jai or just as a dessert don't forget to try my creamy russian salad dessert a delicious creamy keed recipe that you guys can all benefit from in ramadan or on eid it's really really quick and easy to prepare and tastes so delicious just like this and I have so many other recipes, so don't forget to give those a try and check those out as well while you're here. And friends, until next time, take care and a laugh is.